Hello and welcome to my self-massage for when you're feeling hormonal or moody. You know, those days where everyone is just getting on your every last nerve. You're dropping everything, you're bumping into things, people are just in your way, they're annoying you. Let's try to see if we can come back into the present, have our mind-body connection, relax, breathe, and see if we can calm that down just a bit so that we can feel a little better in our minds and our bodies and in our relationship with the world around us. So have a comfortable seat, sit up nice and tall. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. Make sure that exhale is long and that you're getting all the air out of your lungs. Go ahead, put one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, and just feel the movement as you breathe. Again, in through the nose. Long exhale out. See if you can get that movement in the belly, in the diaphragm. We want that diaphragm moving with the breath because that makes the breath more efficient for us. It gets oxygen and nutrients where they need to go. And it also massages all our organs in our belly, all our viscera. So let's get some movement one more time. Inhale. And let it out. And there are a few really good areas to massage when you're feeling moody or hormonal. We're going to start just with right at the hairline. And you could take one hand, you could take two hands, either way, and just make some really nice soft circles. Already it just calms me down immediately. You can go from inside to outside, outside to inside. You can make fast circles, slow circles, whatever suits your mood in the moment. Whatever works for you, whatever feels good. If you find one area that feels particularly good, just hang out there for a while. You can continue making circles or you can just stay there and breathe. Nice. And then let's just take it to our whole forehead. Why not? It's so calming. I'm just alternating circles here, but it's not a precise technique. You can be creative. And you can just close your eyes and feel that release, especially if you tend to get tension headaches. This is so nice. And go ahead and find that third eye point right between the eyebrows. You can make circles here as well, or you can just hold. Enjoy that, feel that, feel what it does to the body and take a nice few breaths right here. Remember those exhales need to be long Fill the belly and deflate and feel your bottom on the chair, feel your feet on the floor, feel yourself grounded and supported and centered. Let's take our index fingers, go right to the bridge of the nose. You're going in gently, fingers towards each other that way and then up gently in and up just very gently and you'll find a wonderful release for the whole face and maybe even other areas it can refer so just hold that there and breathe it's so lovely hmm. Feel what it does for your forehead, your scalp. Mm. 
One more breath here. And then some more good spots right above the lip. Do a little massage there. Kind of weird, right? <laughs> And then also below, some good stuff there. <laughs> Try to let your jaw loose, just kind of hang on a hinge. You can go ahead and massage the whole chin. Make sure your teeth are separated top from bottom. And you can go ahead and do some jaw massage. I'm just using a whole hand here, so I'm picking up all that fascia. It's so nice because you can get the TMJ and the temples at the same time, and it is just heavenly. Another really good one is separating your fingers, scissor fingers. If this doesn't work for you, you can do this and then stick your ear right in between, and then you'll just slowly go up and down. And breathe up and down. Mm. So nice. Bring your fingers like this, Stick them at the top of your neck, right in the middle where the spine is, and you're going to spread the tissue outward, opening up the back of the neck. So I've got my fingers in the middle and I'm spreading out. Right at the base of the skull, you wanna start right here. And then out you go, like lengthening. And then when you've done that spot, go just a tiny bit down to the next segment, the next vertebra, and pulling out like this. Not hard, not forcing it, just sort of let the tissue melt it and take your fingers out. If you wanna add a little something to it, if you're not feeling very much with this, you can add forward flexion of the neck. So you'll get in the middle, you'll start that outward trajectory, and you'll slowly bring your chin down towards your chest. Keep breathing, slowly, slowly, so that you're getting a bit of an extra stretch. And then very slowly come back up as well. Going for the next point, make sure the shoulders are nice and relaxed down, that they're not creeping up on you. And sliding out and Gently flexing if that feels good. And one more segment at the bottom of the cervical vertebrae, base of the neck. Lovely. Take a big squeeze of the shoulder right up there, all that good stuff that likes to get so tight, and just squeeze it and hold. Or you can add slow stretch. So opposite ear towards opposite shoulder and open up that side. You can do it a couple times. You feel a nice stretch. If it's too intense, just keep your head upright. Not a problem. And then you could just do some little circles, find what feels good, find where it's tender. All that stuff, all that upper traps, that levator scapula. There you go. And let's get the other side, of course. So a nice big squeeze. And if you want to add the active, you can begin to side flex. 
slowly in and out, remember. So nice to lengthen that tissue. Slowly back up and go ahead and do a little exploration. If you find a tender point, stop right there. Apply as much pressure as feels like a good release and breathe. And we'll take those finger circles to the pectorals. So between the sternum and the shoulder, just some nice slow circles here. You may like a lot of deep pressure here. Just as long as it doesn't hurt, it's good. We want it to feel good. You can even go right on the breastbone and do some circles there. That's really nice too. Under the clavicle. Kind of thinking about lengthening and opening up through the front of the chest. You can go ahead and hold one place and then do a shoulder roll to sort of stretch that out. You have to hold that place, don't let it move, and let that stretch. All right, and then you find another place where you think it's a little stuck, hold it, and then slowly stretch with a shoulder roll. Feels really good. I'm gonna do my sternum a little bit before moving to the other side. And exploring. Feels really good at the front of the shoulder too. These tend to get really short as we kind of have the, our computer hunched posture, you know, they come up and around. So we want to get them back and down. Go back and down, shoulder. And again, you can stop and move. Stop and move. Find another goodie if you can. Let the arms dangle. Nice roll of the shoulders. Interlace the fingers. Bring them back behind the head. Sit up nice and tall, squeeze your shoulder blades together and gently, gently press your head in towards your hands. Feel a beautiful opening through the back of the neck, the front of the chest. Make sure those shoulders are down. And let them drop to your sides. Hopefully you're feeling like you've had a little bit of a mood boost. We're all doing this together, so you're not alone. If you're you know, feeling hormonal, you've got company, totally. But hopefully this helped you feel a little better. If it did, like my video and subscribe. I've got new stuff coming out every other week and hit the notification so that you don't miss out on the latest. And comment below, let me know your story and how this worked for you. Thanks.